all right so having purchased our domain name and hosting so now let's check our email to see the message we received from from nameship so this is the mail this very one that says your hosting account details for priceless mom.xyz so there are many emails they will have sent to you but this very one is what we want to work on now so you open it and then you have this so this is where we are coming to how to have access to our C panel control panel so logging into control panel directly so and that is what we need so we've been given under C panel details will have been given a username and also a password okay so I'm going to be copying this password now then I want to go and change the password have I done that okay let me see it seems I've done that but let me Okay, so how can I reset my password? Welcome to Nameshift. Is this just a guide? Okay, so if this is a guide, then we don't need the guide. Let me quickly take you through how to do that. Let's sign in to you no, know, this has brought us to Nameshift. Uh, Nameship website. So let's sign into web uh, Nameship. So after you have signed in, then come to this place and click on hosting list. Then you have all the domain names you have with them currently. So currently, I have just two with them. So this is the one we are talking. Go to Supernova. Though in case it brings you here directly, don't panic. It is still very fine. So you can, it can bring you here because you are logging in through your Nameship account. So you can log in to your control panel through your uh, Nameship account directly without asking you for username and password. But as you go on, as you move to something you want to do, it's going to ask you for it. So let me give you an example now. So where we are coming to is this file manager. So before you can open file manager, it will actually ask you for your password. So that's what I'm saying. So now, when it asks you for it, you can reset your password and you can leave it as it is. So I don't think we have problem with that. If you are to reset your password, so it will ask for your username, then then you click on reset password and message will be sent to your mail can i remember the username it seems i'm correct so to receive your security code please provide your contact email address below and check in case okay so your contact that is this distinguished so you need to type that there they send security code to ask me to insert the security code sent to my account and then let me quickly check my mail to bring that out I'll check my mail through my phone. It has given me the code. So it's for um, okay. So submit now.
okay so now we can set our new password so this will help you to log in anywhere you have without having access to your mail so you will have known your password often or google can save it for you so end of the two so new password all right so now this is my password so i will just click on set password So now your account password has been reset. Mm -hmm. So we return to cPanel login. Okay. That is not what I want now. Okay, so now we are successfully logged in. Okay, save it, save it for me. All right, so now we have successfully changed our C panel login details. So in the next video, we shall be talking about how to upload our websites.